money, all power right to throw. Thy lips, those kissing cherries, tempting grow. <laughs> oh, spite, oh, fiend, I see you're all bent to set against me for your merriment. Can you not hate me, as I know you do, but you must join in souls to mock me too? If you are men, as many are in show, you would not use the gentle lady so to bow and swear and super praise my parts when I know you hate me with your hearts. You both are rivals and love Maria, and now arrive and now rivals to mock Helena. A trim exploit, a manly enterprise, to count the tears up poor maid's eyes. You are unkind, Marcellus. Be not so. Be love Maria, that you know I know. With all goodwill, in all my heart, my love of Maria, I shall yield you of my heart, and to yours of Helen, whom I do bequeath, and who, to whom I shall do unto my death. Never did mockers waste more idle breath. Christopher, keep that, Maria, for I will not. Fair I loved her, all that love is gone. My heart to her, <coughs> as a guest to germ, now to Helen, it is only true. There to Maria. Helen, it is not so. Despair is not thy fate, thou dost not know. Lest to thy peril thou pay for it dear. Wait till thy love comes, yonder to the dear. Thou art not by my eye, Christopher, found. Thine ear, I think, it brought me to that sound. But why dost thou leave me so? Why should he stay with whom love doth press to go? What love compressed Christopher from my side? Christopher's love that would not let him by. To Helen, who morning gilds the night, then yon fiery eyes and o's of light. Could this not make that I see thee, to see that I hate thee? You speak not as you think, it cannot be. Lo, she is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false court in spite of me. Injurious Maria, most ungrateful maid, have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel we have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours we have spent, when we have chid the peace we put in time for parting us, oh, is all forgot? All chatted of innocent school days' friendship? And will you rend our age love asunder to join with these men in scorn of poor friend? It is not friendly, it is not neighborly. Our sex, as well as I, may try me for it, though I alone will feel the injury. I am amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not, it seems as though you scorn me. Have you not set Christopher as in scorn to follow me and praise my eyes and face, and made your other love, Marcellius, who even but now would spur me with this foot, to call me goddess, nymph, divine, and rare, precious, and celestial? Wherefore speaks he this to her he hates? And wherefore doth Christopher deny your love, so rich within his soul, to tend their means for sweet affection, but by your setting on, by your consent? I understand what you mean. I do not understand what you mean by this. I do keep it up. Counterfeit sad looks. Make mouths upon me when I turn my back. Wink at each other. Hold the sweet chest up. This sport well carried shall be chronicled. If you have any pity, grace, or manners, you would not make me such an argument. But fare you well. This is probably my own fault, which death or absence soon shall be. Helen, wait. Hear my excuse. My love, my life, my soul, my fair Helena. Oh, excellent. Sweet, do not scorn her so. If she cannot entreat, I can't compel. Thou canst compel more than she can entreat. Praise. Your thy strength, that you have no more strength than her weak praise. Helen, I love thee. By my life I do. And I swear to that which I will prove him false, that says I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. Then withdraw and prove it too. Quick, come! Get gone, you ugly moat! No, no, sir, seem to break loose. Take on as you would follow, but yet come not. You are a tame man. Go! Hang off, thou cat, thou burr. Should I shake thee away like a serpent? Why have you grown so rude? What change is this, sweet love? Thy love? Out, oh, tawny tartar, outlawed in medicine, hated poison, hence! And so do you. Marcellius, I shall keep my word with thee. I would I had your bond. For I perceive a weak bond holds you. I'll not trust your word. What? Should I strike her? Kill her dead? Although I hate her, I will not harm her so. What? Can you do me greater harm than hate? Hate you wherefore? And not I, Maria? Are you not Christopher? I am as fair now as I was erewhile. Since now you loved me, yet since then you left me. Why you left me, all oh, the gods forbid, in earnest, shall they say? Aye, by my life, and never 
did desire to see thee more. Therefore, be out of hope, of question, of doubt. Be certain nothing truer is no jest. That I hate thee in love, Helena. Oh, me! <laughs> you juggler, you canker blossom, you thief of love. What, have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine, but they. Have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What, will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you. Puppet? Why so? I that way goes the game. Now I can see she hath made the pair between our statures. She hath urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height for you, she hath prevailed with them. And have you grown so high in his esteem, because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted in the maypole? Speak, how low am I? I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach you with thine eye. I pray you, go you mock me, gentlemen, let her not hurt you. I was never cursed. I have no gift of elf and shrewishness. I am a right name for my cowardice. Let her not hurt me. You perhaps may think, because she is something lower than myself, that I can match her. Lower? Hark again. Good Maria, do not be so bitter with me. I evermore did love you, did ever keep your counsel, never wronged you. Save that in love of Marcellius, I told him of yourself and of his foot. He followed you, and for love I followed him. But he hath chid me hence, and threatened me, he spurned me, he struck me, he killed me too. And now, will you let me quiet go, back to the town of Leather, my father back, and follow you no further. You see how simple and how fond I am? Why get you gone? Who is that hinders you? A foolish heart that I leave here behind. What, with Christopher? With Marcellius. She shall not harm me so, Helen. No, sir, though you take her part. Oh, when she's angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen, vixen when we went to school, and though she be but little, she is fierce. Little again? Nothing but low and little. Why will you suffer it? I've got me thus. Let me come to her. Get gone, you dwarf! You hindering play of not grass, you beef, you acorn! Sir, you are so vicious and curvy cat, of one that scorns her services. Let her alone, speak not of Helena, take not her part. And if thou never so little of show of love to her, thou shalt abide it. She holds me not now. Come if thou darest. Nay, I go with thy cheek, my child. You, mistress. All this coil is long with you. Nay, go not back. I'll no longer trust you. I no longer stay in your cursed company. Your hands and mine are quicker for a prey. My legs are long ago to run away. I'm amazed and don't know what to say. Jangling, I esteem a sport. 